Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video of how I stage my house to sell it with dollar store items. So there's obviously going to be a few items that I've added into the house that I'm not going to be showing or staging items that I, you know, didn't buy from the dollar store. I'll show you a few things here and there around the house that I've done to help stage my home. Some of you may know that staging your home can actually raise the value of your house even though you spend such a little amount of money on staging. So I've gone to three different dollar stores to purchase some things. I've gone to Dollar Tree, I've also gone to Dollarama and Dollar your dollar store with more. I've gone multiple times. Today I picked up a lot of stuff and that's why I wanted to do this haul so that I can do it all pretty much in one video and then I grabbed the few other things that I bought previously. So I'm just gonna start with Dollar Tree. Um, I think I've only bought a few things from there and the first items that I did buy are like soap dispensers and these I'm actually not going to be using for soap. I'm going to be using these for shampoo and conditioner in my shower. I'm going to remove all of the um, like ugly looking bottles and stuff and replace it with these and then a bar of soap that is unopened and these aren't even going to be functional these are just going to be replaced when we have a showing so that was from dollar tree and they were a dollar 25 a piece um we're in canada i'm not sure about the states but i'm probably sure that you guys only pay a dollar uh per item in the states but we pay a dollar 25 for everything um, in Dollar Tree. So that's those items. Now I'm going to move on to the items from Dollarama and I did buy more of these um, probably over a year ago. Mine just broke or a few of them broke so I had to replace them um, and they're just picture frames. So I have these in my hallway with some wedding photos and I know that it's not um, such a great thing to have personal photos, but because it's a hallway people are mainly walking through it They're not stopping to look at the photos. It's more of just a um, Something to fill the space with so um, These picture frames are just going to be replacing the ones that broke. I have two others identical to this and then I have um, I believe the eight and a half by eleven or whatever size it is um, also two of them so I got those and these were three dollars a piece so total that's three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen dollars for picture frames which I mean it's not too bad because you would pay that much money for a bigger picture frame so I'm okay with that they're more expensive than what I would like to pay at a dollar store but Dollarama is getting pretty expensive they even have items up to four dollars now and we seem to be kind of weaning off of Dollarama and heading to Dollar Tree more often, even though Dollar Tree is farther away from us. So then the next item I got was just a dish towel. I didn't want to have um, like yucky used towels, so this one will be for staging only, and it's just a plain green color um, to go with the green theme in our kitchen, and it was $1.25. Now moving on to dollar store with more, um, I have a few things from a few different times, and the first items are these. Um, so they're just like fake succulent plants, they're actually pretty cute. Um, I really like the white, um, what is that called? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Going blank. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, the white things. <laughs> and they have like little fake rocks or rocks inside. And these have been sitting on our windowsills. And then of course we have the bigger ones. So on each windowsill, I have a bigger plant and a smaller plant. Charlie, get down. And as you can see, each one is different. I like symmetry, but I don't like things to be exact. So with this, they look similar um, because of the size of the pot. That's what they're called, pots. <laughs> um, but they are different plants altogether. I have these on my windowsill in the dining room and kitchen. You guys have probably noticed them in videos before. Um, I just thought they were 
pretty cute and I believe these smaller ones were $2.50 a piece or maybe $2 and then the bigger ones were $3 so again I find that pretty expensive for a dollar store um, but it's also the quality these are actual ceramic pots and I mean for what they are and what I can achieve by selling my house okay on to my next item um, I was vlogging today when I bought all this stuff so you'll see this video hopefully soon or maybe even before um, but I bought a canvas and dollar store with more is obviously with more items than dollar prices so they have these blank canvases and this one was $15 and that's pretty awkward <laughs> some of you may know um, I did my master bedroom tour oh a few year, few years ago and I painted the canvases in that room so it's a lot cheaper to buy a canvas yourself and paint whatever you want on it yourself because I wanted a monster truck type theme canvas and sometimes it's not always that easy to find what you're looking for so I figured I'd buy that it's probably a quarter of the price of what I would pay um, to have one finished and I mean it's a pretty good size this is a 24 by 36 inch so I'm going to paint a monster truck on it and then it will fill the blank wall on uh, in Damien's room so on to the little stuff that I bought today um, I'll just go through it and show you what I got these flowers again this was all I kind of showed some of it I showed it in the vlog some I didn't um, these flowers I don't even know what they were are supposed to be but I was looking for hydrangeas and they didn't really have like white ones and I kind of wanted white ones so um, these were a dollar 25 per stem and I bought three stems so I don't like this piece hanging off of it um, I'm going to actually take that off so that you don't see those and then I'm going to put them in some sort of like jar or mason jar type so this will be going on the um, bathroom shelf that I made which I'll also show a clip right now of um, because I just finished that that was just basically a I think it's a two by eight um, I sanded it down stained it and then just wrote relax on it or painted relax on it with paint so I thought that was super cute um, I got this inspiration from Pinterest of course all my ideas come from Pinterest usually so that's what these are for and then also the same type of flower but in purple I thought these would go really well with the green um, color for the kitchen so I'm going to put these on the counter and once again inspiration from Pinterest but I'm going to take off these things actually on these ones I might leave them they're not too bad so these will go on the counter to go along with those flowers for the counter I am got these let me see if I can do this correctly I'm going to sit this on the counter I'm gonna have to put like glue it to a piece of wood because they won't probably stand on their own but I thought it was cute once again Pinterest idea I'll put a piece of board underneath it and glue them all together and probably just paint them white because that's what will match properly so I just thought that was cute and these were a dollar fifty a piece moving on um, I bought some paint just like a teal colored uh, paint and black paint for Damien's canvas because the teal will match his room and the decor that he's already got in it um, I wanted to switch over the theme from like the baby colors of the teal to monster truck theme of like gray and red and blue and yellow but I, I just didn't get around to that so the easiest thing is to paint the uh, canvas with the colors he already has in his room <laughs> um, so I'm going to do that and then I can always repaint the canvas 
when we move into a new house. So these were $1.25 a piece. Next, I just got some crazy glue. I have my front screen door to fix, uh, the wood came off of it, so I'm going to use crazy glue to fix that. Again, not very interesting, but sandpaper for um, compound and drywall. Uh, I didn't realize that they carried them there and I have a few holes to touch up, so I needed sandpaper. And then my next thing is this little basket. Um, it's like the weaved fabric baskets. Um, these I even have in where we keep our DVDs and stuff in our entertainment unit. And I'm going to be using this on the bathroom counter. Um, this was $2.50. And I think that's pretty crazy for what it is. Um, but for what it's going to look like in the end, I think it's worth it. So I got that. And what I will be putting in it is a little glass jar I believe this was $1.25 and I'm going to put q-tips in it so that will go in there. I also bought this, um, what is this called? It's like um, a stick scent bottle. Um, I just thought it was cute to have like the liquid in the glass bottle and then have the sticks. So that will go there as well. I bought Q-tips or cotton swabs um, and we were just kind of running low and I wanted to make sure I had some for that. So I got those. The next two items kind of go hand in hand. This is just an Airwick candle. Um, I didn't buy it really for the scent, although it doesn't smell too bad. I just bought it for the purple color to go with the flowers. And then I bought some plain unscented candles and uh, one or two of these will go on the bath shelf and then maybe one in this container and around the house. Um, I just bought a package of six because they were cheaper to buy it this way than individuals. And then the next item is light bulbs and these are 100 watt light bulbs. Um, they tell you to replace you know the main important light bulbs with a hundred watt and that's because they're brighter but I mean I just wanted to have a few on hand because then that way if we do blow a bulb um, the night before someone comes then at least we do have them and I paid two dollars for I believe four and then my last item is just another little thing of paint and I have to touch up my countertop um, there's a crack in it and I just wanted to touch it up so that it doesn't look too horrible because um, we're not going to be replacing the whole countertop. So I just got that and I think that's all. So as you can see, um, I did spend quite a bit of money um, on these items. However, for how much you get out of it and what it does to sell your house, I think it's worth it to put out an extra little bit of money. So I think that's all for this video. If you like this video or this type of video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments below if you like these types of videos regarding, you know, selling your house and that type of thing because I will continue to do a type of series about this stuff. Uh, and yeah, and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.